Howdy, I'm Lee Wilson, and this is TGO Wyoming, on the move. And today we're going to talk about the next big Land Cruiser project. And it's not a fun one. It's actually just a <laughs> one of necessity, not an accessorization or making it, uh, you know, more capable off-road vehicle. This is just maintenance, but it's a big maintenance thing. So, my 90, 1994 FCJ80 has the 1FZ-FE motor in it, right? So it's a 4.5 liter straight six, and it's a great motor. It really is. It may be considered a little underpowered, uh, given the weight of the vehicle and what uh, what we ask these vehicles to do. But overall, it's pretty much a bomb-proof engine, and I really like it. However, mine has a pretty bad oil leak on the valve cover. So... The next big project is going to be a valve cover gasket because it is leaking enough oil or I'm putting about a quart in a month and the oil is seeping down and getting on the belts. So I've got pretty much oil saturated belts and pulleys and that's just not great. So I've been doing some research into this project and this is going to be this is going to be a fairly involved project because if I'm going to pull off the valve cover, there's a lot I'm going to do in the meantime. It's more than just replacing the gasket. So I'm gonna, of course, replace the gasket, and then I'm going to replace the PCV valve, and uh, let's see, the valve cover hose, vent hoses, because those are kind of old and brittle. I'm gonna replace the uh, spark plug seats, because, I mean, those are gonna, no doubtedly gonna be, undoubtedly going to be uh, old and brittle and gunky. Fortunately, I can get that in a kit where I get the uh, valve cover gasket and all of the seats and the, of course, the grommet for the PCV uh, all in one. So that's great. But if I'm going to pull this off, well, it's kind of old and dingy and dingy. So I'm going gonna, gonna to strip it down and paint it because might as well do something a little fun to make the Land Cruiser look a little better. Uh, and, uh, of course, it's probably about time for new spark plugs. I don't know when the spark plugs were last done on this. So I'm just going to go ahead and do those. Probably get some NGK Iridiums give those a shot. And if I'm going to do plugs, I might as well do wires. Again, probably NGK wires. If I'm going to do wires, I better do cap and rotor too. So it's kind of a long list of, of things to do in one shot, but hopefully what I'm going to gain out of this is a little bit of power, a little bit of fuel economy, and have a happier running engine because I love the Land Cruiser. I love the Crusher more than any other vehicle I've ever owned, and I've said it before, and I will keep on saying it. So I want to make sure that this is well taken care of. You know, it's going to be a work in progress for probably many years. There's a lot of things I want to do to it, most of which are very expensive. And it's going to take some serious savings or I have to gain a hell of a lot more viewers and start generating some, some YouTube bad revenue if I'm going to get all these parts and, and actually get this thing to where I want it to be, to where it is the ultimate overlanding vehicle. But it's going to be a lot of fun. It's going to be, this little, uh, those little project's going to be rough. It's going to be in a probably, I'll probably get it done in a couple of weeks. Honestly, I think I'm going to wait for next payday to roll around. It's not going to be inexpensive. The Iridium plugs are roughly eight bucks a piece. You know, plug wires are going to be 50 bucks roughly. Gasket set, I think I can get away with for around 80. Uh, maybe a little less, depends on where I buy it from. And, you know, the PCV valve is, that's stupid cheap. That's just dirt cheap. The vent hoses, I've got an order from Cruiser Dan over at Cruiser Parts. They're not terribly expensive. So I'm going to have to actually collect parts from multiple different sources to get this project done. And I think I'm going to go ahead and record it. And so you guys can see what exactly goes on in the Land Cruiser when you pull everything off. Of course, i got to get some high temp, you know, enamel paint and make sure I strip this thing down nice. But the big question is, do I paint the valve cover black? Do I paint it gray? Or do I paint it Cummings tan? I am leaning towards the tan, but you guys throw your two cents in. You know, the overall color scheme for this vehicle in the end is going to be black and tan. I'm pretty sure black hood and black fender flares with the uh, quicksand tan Toyota color. It's a fantastic factory tan. I love it. That's what I want the main body of the Land Cruiser to be. So if you guys have any ideas on or want to weigh in on what I should, what color I should paint that valve cover, 
you just let me know in the comments below. And I'm about home, so it is time to wrap this up, get in, cook dinner, having to do on the moves sometimes in the evenings now. You know, if Roger's having a talkative morning, he he just likes to yell, so that's not very conducive to your guys' viewing and hearing pleasure, so. Yep. Pull in here. But hopefully you guys have found this video educational and or entertaining. And if you have, you know what to do. Let me know in the comment box below. Of course, if you want to help out this channel, go ahead and click that subscribe button if you're not already subscribed. If you are already subscribed, then thank you for watching and making it till the end. Um, yeah, you can also share this video on your favorite social media platform using the links down below. You can follow me on social media using the links in the description. And of course, if you do any of your shopping on Amazon, consider shopping through my affiliate link, also available in the description down below. So every time you do that, I get a little, a little, uh, little bonus there, and it helps me, well, put parts on Land Cruiser. So yeah, if you guys wanna see more cool Land Cruiser stuff and projects and some overlanding, do your shopping through Amazon or uh, through the link below, or you can go to tgowyoming.com forward slash support, click the banner and do that. It's free to you and it helps me out a ton. But yeah, I think that's about it for today. It is a beautiful, beautiful evening. I think I'm going to get all the stuff into the house and then come right back out, grab my ruck and go for a ruck. Gotta keep training, gotta keep training before the weather turns awful this week. So it's supposed to rain and be terrible. All right, thanks again for watching. As always, stay safe, shoot straight, and I'll see you next time.